Hi friends, thank you so much for visiting my channel. Uh, please like and subscribe this to this channel if you think these videos are useful. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're having a quick short video to basically help you create a service principle that you can use to access resources instead of your username and password. So we're basically going to create a new Azure application and a service principle that can be used with role-based access control. Uh, it's really helpful when you need things like Logic App where you don't have to put in your username and password uh, and you just use service principle instead of that. So in case if even if you are ever going to leave the company or, um, or anything happens to your account, the, the Logic App will still continue to run. You can use it for pretty much any Azure resources. Okay, so in order to create the service principle, these are the following steps. We basically confirm the users have access to register the application. You confirm that you are the owner, you have owner or user administrator access to assign roles to the AD application. You need to register an application. For authentication purposes, you create a new application secret. You assign a contributor role to that application, and then you test that application or you test that service principle with, with things like Logic App, which is what we're going to do today. Nice and sweet, short and sweet. Uh, let's get into action. Okay, so the first step is you will need to go into your Azure Active Directory, go into your users, go into user settings, and you need to confirm your users can register applications. If this is turned to no, only administrators will be able to do. That is in the first step here. Confirm your users will have access to register application, tick. The next step is you go back to home or go into your subscriptions, open up your subscription, confirm you have access to assign roles to Azure AD app. The access you require is owner or user admin access. So if, to do that, you go into your subscriptions. You then, once, once you go into your subscriptions, you then go into my permissions here. And here I have confirmed that I've got administrator access. I can show it a bit more in detail. If I go into my role assignments, I am with dpm.service here. If you go here, dpm.service has owner access, tick. Step number two, done. The next thing for you is to go ahead and register an application. To do that, you basically go into, again, go home, go into your Azure Active Directory, go into app registrations and a new registration. You can just give it anything. I'm just gonna give it as a logic app register hyphen demo. I'm only going to use it within the single tenant. So I'm just going to be basically uh, not going to worry about any other steps. This is purely optional. This is if you want to have APIs and things like that for this particular purpose, we only need it to do authentication. So we're not going to worry about the redirect URL and we're just going to go and register. Perfect. I'm going to open up my notepad here. There are certain things that I would like to test or to write down, sorry. The main things are my client ID. You will quickly find out why I need it. It's fairly easy. You've got a client ID. Let me just go and copy the client ID. Beautiful. The next one I want is my tenant ID. Tenant ID. Oh, click on that. Go here. And finally, I would like to basically create a secret. This is for authentication purpose. How will this particular app authenticate when um, in my logic app when I'm going to trigger it to run, you know? So go into your secrets. I am basically going to this time use a new client secret here. So I'm going to click on new client secrets. I'm just going to give it a, this one. It's just a secret demo. I'm just going to give it the recommended six months. Click on add. This is very important. I need to copy this. You need to control V and I'm just gonna put this as a value. I would, and I would also always have this expiry in mind because coming time close to 2022, I will have to register 
uh, to renew the uh, secret again so whatever it is in my secret server or if you've got any other uh, application you use to store secrets you need to have this information in that particular environment okay so i've got my uh, registration here okay so i will now now i've got everything here i will now need to give it permission to or a contributor role permission to actually be able to trigger and run that logic app to do that i go again to this i'm, going, so I'm just going to go home going into my subscriptions here opening up my subscription i'm going into access control and i'm just going to add and add a role assignment i'm going to assign it a contributor role click on next select my member because it's a service principle i believe something with logic perfect there you go a logic app demo click on select click on next and click on review and assign and i've given it the role perfect so pretty much everything done i've got all the information here i've given it access and now i'm just going to go to my logic app I'm just going to basically test and see if that is working, the service principle is working. So I, let me just pick up a basic one I have here, going to send basic email, go into my Logic App Designer. Hopefully I can find one out there. There you go. Yep, perfect. Change connection. I'm going to add a new connection, going to connect with a service principle. Over here, it's going to ask me what is the connection name. I'm just going to say SP run Logic App demo Ten and then I put in all those other details tenant ID is is here client ID is here client secret don't worry by the time I finish this recording I will be deleting this application so this will not be accessible outside <laughs> so okay so that's done I'm just going to go and say create. This will confirm and tell me if everything is working fine. It's doing its creation. It's clicking on create. Perfect. Looks like that has worked. To confirm if it's worked, I just need to save this first. And I'm going into my overview and I'm just going to run this logic app. I've just chosen logic app, but you can use any other resource that requires a service principle. So I'm just going to go to overview and I'm just going to run a trigger. There you go. It's successful. If I refresh. There you go. Hallelujah. That's there. And I'm just going to confirm again that it's definitely that logic app is definitely run with that particular service account. Uh, and there you go. It is definitely working fine. Perfect. All right. That's that's exactly what I want. All right, um, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Mainly, please subscribe and like to it. I just to confirm. All what I've done is I've created the user. Um, confirm the users have access to register the application. Confirm the O that I who is trying to assign roles to the ADF has got the owner or user administrator. I went ahead and registered an application for authentication purpose. I've got a new application uh, secret and I've recorded those details in Notepad, which is this details. Assigned it contributor role to the subscription and I've then tested the access. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe and like it. I will be sending, posting more videos every week. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.